Okay. Deadwood so, was 2004, so okay, yeah, so around right that around time. then. All right, so we so we could get really gritty with it, mm-hmm. and I kind of think he would have liked that. I agree. And then when he eventually was on Riverdale, it would have been a fun turn for him to get back to C, like CW life and Where, do that. Jam. Yeah, because it's CW, obviously, we know, is like home of a of a certain amount of superhero. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So. Okay, so we're putting that on an HBO. It's almost like a Hancock, but but better. Well, okay, is it like that? Is this a? Did, Hear that sound? That's ice banging off my glass straw. It's kind of a cool sound. Sorry. I actually thought that that sounded really cool. That's one of those things that people would record and fall asleep to. Oh, is this ASMR? ASMR. You're doing ASMR. Thank you for having whisper while you do it. So Luke Perry was going to be an HBO superhero, and he was going to change the world via his cigarette smoking. And, um, I can't. I can't. You have to stop. <laughs> Were you going to fall asleep? No, I just, it makes me feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. All of a sudden, it was like brain overload. <laughs> it feels like a drug. Ooh, all right. Okay. Is this a half hour? Is this a half hour? Like not sitcom, hour long dramedy. But you think? Oh, hour long dramedy. Were they yeah. even doing those back in? The we could. We could have. We we made it. Yeah. What if it was like? One hour dramedy. But what? it's like seventy percent drama, thirty percent comedy, or even eighty twenty. What do you think? Yeah, that's okay. Right? That's okay. So similar to like Orange is the New Black, Girls. Yes. Any of those. Yeah. I'm not saying the show's like that. Girls was a half hour though, wasn't it? I'm just saying percentage wise of like. Yes. Like when Emmys came along, you probably are nominating it for drama, but could have been nominated for comedy. Totally. So maybe a little more drama than some of those. And I think it's almost like Young Man Logan would be this because I feel. He's, so he, um, I, I'm doing reverse math here, which is unfortunate. So mm-hmm. in 2009, he would have been 42. So in 2002, he would, would have been, been like 34, 30, yeah. 35. So he is 35, depending on what he, he maybe he's known he has superpowers his whole life and he doesn't want to use them. Until he's kind of like forced to use one, like maybe he doesn't want to use him like Superman, like he doesn't want the world to know. Doesn't, and he, but he just doesn't. But is he of this world? He's of this world. Okay, so he was born here. Born here, and he was born with the ability to. What do you got? All right, so let's give him something awesome. Okay, but a little more unique than flying. Yeah, he can't fly. Let's say this: he can't fly. No X-ray vision. No X-ray vision. No like burn vision. He doesn't have any of the Superman like the ones that make Superman. So he's like not invincible. Not super strength. I was thinking super strength. I was kind of thinking that too, but then if it's super strength, um, it's almost it's almost like. Uh, it matches his personality well. What if it's is, almost like he's a Jedi and he can just get people to do whatever he wants via his mind? Mind. So he's tel- he's telepathic, but he can't move things. We talked about this on Collider Live, though. Evil. It's evil. What, to like be Brightburn? Able to, no, it's evil to be able. Remember when Christian said that he wants to be able to persuade the power of persu- persuasion? Well, that's the Umbrella Academy argument. Is the girl? Did you watch Umbrella Academy yet? Only the first. Two episodes. Well, the girl gets in trouble because she uses her powers on her child so that the kid will go to bed. I'm like, I think I might wave the the go ahead flag on that one if I'm the dad and the girls are constantly crying, not Maybe. sleeping. It's like, I heard a rumor you should go to sleep, and the girl goes to sleep. Yeah, it's not because she's going to sleep forever. You're not like mind controlling her forever. What if it's what if he? It is not mind control, but they have to do what you say. So Kilgrave, but if he was good. Good. And trying not to do that. So right. like if he said like, oh, I just wish that you'd fall off a bridge and then you fall off a bridge. And right. Like, Crap. You know, so it's like comedy kind of things can come right. there. But he has to really think about what he so says. So this is a dark comedy. Yeah. Dramedy. Yeah. Dark, dark dramedy. Dark dramedy. See, I like this. Okay. So. He has always had this power, but it's not the kind of power where people are like, whoa, he can do that, right? Mm-hmm. Where he's, You're saying they don't know. Yeah, because like if he had super strength, everybody's like, whoa, he can do super strength, and he wouldn't know when to use it. Oh, I can stop bullets. I don't know when to use it kind of a situation. My skin is impenetrable. I'm Luke Cage. No. It's sort of like Kilgrave, but he he does not ever want to use it. But he keep like he, he keep, accidentally uses it all the time, and then sometimes on purpose, but only in very rare situations. Right. Interesting. And, and, he, and so when did he find it, this out? When he was a kid, he probably told his mom or dad to. Yeah. Go. 
It would like there was a certain amount of circumstances. Maybe when he hit like eleven or twelve years old. Give me cookies. No, maybe there's like a situation where he's like an athlete, right? He's a young boy, he's an athlete on a baseball field, and he's in his mind going, "God, throw one right down the middle, throw one right down the middle, and right down the middle, whack!" And he's like, "Huh?" huh. And he starts using it. Right. Yeah. And then who plays young Luke Perry? Finn Wolfhard. I was thinking that too because he's everything but kind of also, yeah. Oh, you know who would play young Luke Perry? Who? I know exactly who plays him, but I don't know his name. Go tell me what character as soon as you can he get it. He was in mid nineties. Okay, he's the kid in mid nineties. He was. He's also been in something else recently, um, and he's like a little shit sometimes. Mid nineties. Yeah, that's a Jonah Hill movie. Yeah, um, he's got brown hair and uh, like he's a cute kid. Um, Sonny Solchik. That's exactly who it is. Yeah, this guy. Let me see. Because I'm pretty positive that's his name, but he was also in something else. People might know. Yeah, he would he would be a killer Luke Perry. Although I could see that he almost looks like the kid from uh, Growing Pains, like the the or I mean uh, Family Ties that played like the young son in Family Ties. Can you look up the other thing he was just in yeah, recently? That, that was um, although the, although the house, his, his eyes are different than Luke Perry's though. The Killing of a Sacred Deer. No, let me. see. The house with the clock in its walls? Yes, that's exactly what it was. Okay. The house, house with the clock in its walls. Wall. Right. He was just in that. Um, okay, so he plays young He's a Perry. bully kid in that. Okay. But he's a nice guy in the other one. So, you know, he can kind he's of... He's a nice guy in this. Yeah, he is. He's Luke Perry. Yeah. Um, mm. Okay, so he... So it's, does his family... Does Luke Perry's family know what's going on? Does, uh-uh. it never? No. It never comes out? No. Like in the first... Like the pilot? Nobody knows. Nobody in the world knows. The What's only person he's ever told is the woman that he's like desperately in love with and has has been his whole life. And at what age is he? Childhood best friend, like the girl next door kind of a situation. So he tells her at like twelve. He he What's tells her on? at like fourteen or fifteen, like something weird is happening. 